Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. This video is going to be all about how to move this texture on this crate and move it, move the texture with the crate into Roblox Studio without needing any really extra steps. And yeah, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, make sure to join my Discord server if you are interested in being a part of this community. We're almost at 350 members and um, yeah, if you're interested, you know, there's resources in here, there's, you know, you can show off your creations, you can throw in video suggestions, which would help me out, and maybe help you out, and uh, yeah, if you're interested, links at the top of the description, and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've been, I've been getting loads and loads of questions on how I export my textures into uh, Studio. I made a video a while ago, but it's quite different, it's a loop around, this is a better method, and the first thing you want to do is you want to launch up studio obviously so you can import it in so i'm going to do that real quick okay so i've got this random um place open here so now you want to go back into blender this is your asset here so i'm going to select it you want to go file export fbx and now save it wherever you want to save it before you save it though you need to make sure you change path mode to copy and then tick this little box and make it go blue. This will embed the textures onto uh, the actual asset. So you can export it and it'll go straight into your uh, studio place with the texture in it. And then you want to export it uh, like this. Now when you're back into studio, you want to go to view asset manager here, click on that and then click this little uh, arrow button here. And then now you can find your asset. I believe I named it uh, untitled on my desktop. So if I go ahead and find that real quick and now you just click apply and it will bring in your model. If it says, if it comes up with an error, which it might here like this, you just cancel it and then re-import it and it will work completely fine. As you can see, it will come up green now. There you go. And now once it's imported, it will come up down here and now you select all these right click insert with uh, location and now as you can see it's a little bit of fog so I'll just make it smaller there you go the texture is on the model and it's inside your place and it's as simple as that now this works with any kind of texture it doesn't matter how you put the texture on the model or whatever but that's basically it. This is a short video on how to import textures. Um, if this helped, make sure to like the video. And uh, other than that, that's it from me. Uh, peace.